Maurice Jones Drew was a really fun player back in the day with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Pocket Hercules coming out of UCLA, D. LaSalle High School, National Powerhouse, Bob Ladasur. What's up? MJD. I loved him, man. I love him. We'll, we'll forget the Raiders years, but yeah. Uh, but he put uh, Duval Jacksonville on the map, and he was great running back, and I think he's great on TV. Now, his analysis at times when they have him do like mock drafts, and then he has like, like I don't know, four or five running backs in the first round. Ah! I, I get it, but respect his opinion when it comes to running backs. Of course, that's his position, and he did up a list ranking all 32 RB1s heading into 2021. Zeke Elliott just misses the top five, as he should. By the way, the sun has set on Zeke. Uh, you know, uh, a waxing moon and a waning moon. He's definitely a waning moon. There you go. But uh, with Maurice Jones-Drew, his stick is also no disrespect. Uh, he loves saying something trashy, and then it says no disrespect because you can get away with it because you said no disrespect. Ah, uh, uh, <clears throat> we'll get into the Dalvin Cook rankings because it's just how dare he? How dare he? But yeah, uh, number one, Derrick Henry, of course, respect King Henry. Yes, uh, I think that he could break the single season rushing uh, record this season with 17 games. I really, I really do. He went over 2K uh, last season in 16. I think that he will do the damn thing. Next up, Christian McCaffrey. I disagree with. I, I, I do. Where he was injured throughout most of last season, he was pretty ineffective at times. Mike Davis filled in just as swimmingly as Christian McCaffrey had been the previous year. Massively overpaid to reset the running back market. Market, 16 million per year. It's a horrible contract. Carolina already toyed with the idea of trading him to Houston for Deshaun Watson. Uh, so now uh, I'm out on McCaffrey. I think he certainly should take a tumble down this list. So yeah, I, I get it. He's a great receiver. He's solid between the tackles as well, but stop trying to make fetch happen. I understand he's a golden boy and you want to make him front and center for the league, but now, like for my money, I'm taking Dalvin Cook. Oh, but Dalvin got hurt. McCaffrey missed 13 games last year, man. Right? So durability is an issue. It's not just Dalvin Cook, even though Dalvin has yet to play a full 16-game season, but I digress there. Three, so this is the one that bugs me the most. Of course, Alvin Kamara playing for the Dirty Ass Saints. I think that he is overrated. I think that he is overpaid. Uh, I think that, uh, of course, he got notoriety last year because of the seven-touchdown game against the Vikings. That's the only reason why uh, he led the league in rushing touchdowns. Otherwise, it would have been Dalvin leading the league in rushing touchdowns as well as rushing uh, uh, touchdowns from scrimmage. But how can you have a running back on here, even though he's a great receiver, don't get me wrong, that didn't even have a 1,000 yards rushing? Like, How can he be up here at three? For shame. For shame. Just buying the hype. MJD, you're better than that, man. You are. And then we get to Dalvin Cook at four. Uh, no disrespect, but this list is garbage. It, it is trash. Dalvin was second in the league last year with 1,557 yards rushing in only, in really only 13 and a half games because he missed the Falcons game. He missed the Lions game. He missed the second half of the Seahawks game because yeah, you got to stretch it at halftime, man, especially when it's wet. And, and it's dark and it's nighttime. But 13 and a half games, uh, 15, 57 yards rushing, 16 total touchdowns. So I I don't know, man. I, I, I just really don't know. I, I don't get it. Like, what's it got to take? Like, Dalvin should and could be number two. Yes, I'm realistic in that Derrick Henry is still clearly number one. Although, uh, power running backs... <laughs> Sean Alexander, Brandon Jacobs, they just hit a wall. I mean, they're usually the wall that other defenders hit, but now age is just the wall that running backs hit, especially power guys. We'll see. But, yeah, Dalvin should be higher. I would even put Nick Chubb ahead of Kamara. Uh, I would probably have McCaffrey at three. I would have Chubb at four. Uh, and then I would, I would put Kamara mm, seven, seven-ish. Well, he's basically just a wide receiver. Same thing with uh, Christian McCaffrey. But, yeah, Nick Chubb I think is underrated. Uh, he's split in time with. Uh, Kareem Hunt, and I, I think that the Browns do have the best offensive line in the game. Stefanski is adept at running the football, but uh, this is a Dalvin thing, man. This is where Dalvin's going to run pissed off or great in this this year. He's going to run to honor his late great father, and, and I think that Dalvin, in an offense that still wants to run the ball, even though you have Justin Jefferson, you're going to have an improved offensive line, and they're just going to get it. They're just going to get it. 17-game season, Dalvin, Cook, the chef, 2K. It's happening happening dalvin could be league mvp we don't really know there's gonna be a lot of things going on so i have the dalvin sees this list is like mjd i trusted you man i, I trust you. you're you're one of my peers like you're a guy that i looked up to like i had your poster on my wall when i was growing up i'm dalvin cook huh uh, but now this is how you do me you put me behind uh, a glorified wide receiver Dalvin kamara and behind a hurt guy a guy that's even hurt more than me in christian mccaffrey okay five yards per carry behind a bad offensive line 
fine. Fine. Nick Chubb, Zeke Elliott at six. Zeke could be lower. Zeke could be lower. Where even though, yes, I, I downgraded McCaffrey because he was hurt, but Barkley, I would put Barkley ahead of Zeke at this stage of the game. A- Aaron Jones. I might put Aaron Jones above Zeke. I put might put Mixon above Zeke. Zeke might struggle to make the top ten. He would. I'll put Jonathan Taylor Thomas a lot higher. I'll probably put him at eight ish. Yeah. Uh, who's on the bottom? I think he's down on JK2K, even though he's going to be running back one in Baltimore this year, and they want to run the piss out of the football. Uh, so he he's pretty down on James Robinson. Now, this might be because they drafted Travis Etienne, so that could eat into the workload for sure. But, I mean, I mean, MJD, that's your team, man. UDFA running back James Robinson coming out of Illinois State, just doing the damn thing. Okay. All right. Chris Carson, I think he's uh, too low, and Antonio Gibson. But, of course, that's betting on the come. Uh, is Leonard Fournette really the running back one in Tampa? Yeah, 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 okay. Mike no, Mike Davis with the Falcons. It's kind of funny. Uh, Miles Turt, uh, Chase Edmonds. And it gets really rough down here. Where Miles Sanders at 27? Miles Sanders, when he's dialed in and when he's healthy, can be one of the best and dynamic running backs in the game. He is a game breaker, but yeah, it'd be what it'd be at 27. Tevin Colton. Uh, no, Michael Michael Carter is going to be that running back one. The pride of UNC is going to take over running back one. So I don't even know why they listed Tevin Coleman. Like I'll put Michael Carter. I, Michael Carter. If you play fantasy, I think Michael Carter is going to be the super sleeper. I'll put Carter above DeAndre Swift, above Fournette. I'll, so I put him solidly in the teens. But yeah, there you go. And then oh, Miles Gaskin. How'd that happen? No, 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 no. But. No, Devin Singletary, Zach Moss should be running back one there. Mark Ingram. Oh, man, I forgot the Mark Ingram of the Texans. Like, it, it's they're collecting all the cast off running backs. They got David Johnson. I, 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 he didn't even mention David Johnson in this write up, which is hilarious. Should be a slap in the face for David Johnson, but it, it is uh, what it indeed is. Plus, they got Philip Lindsay. I mean, they got everyone. Oh, plus, they have Rex Burkhead. Man, the Texans are wild. The Texans are wild. But bring it back full circle. Dalvin at four. No. No, no, no. I understand that you want to ding him because of the injuries, but uh, Kamara didn't play 16 games. Uh, McCaffrey only played three games. Uh, the only Iron Man here is surprisingly Derrick Henry, considering the way that he plays, but it's okay. It's just another thing that we'll keep in mind and we'll put it on the list. MJD, I trusted you, man. I mean, come on. Dalvin at four, please. Uh, be your thoughts and our thoughts on MJD's thoughts. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, Production Value.